So these are a few live cameras that are exposed online. These aren't recorded videos, but live feeds from strangers' security cameras. I didn't hack anything. I just searched for them online. In fact, there are hundreds like this from people's homes, offices, and even stores. And the owners have no idea that the whole world can see them. Not only security cameras, there's a lot more, like printers. You can see there are thousands of printers exposed to the internet, and a person with malicious intent can use them however they want. For example, this one, this printer is running somewhere in Germany, and as you can see, it has the e-print option available. This means that anyone can access this printer and print anything they want. Along with these printers, cameras, and other IoT devices, a hacker can find vulnerable web servers, software running on computers with outdated versions, and a lot more. I am able to do all this just by searching with a few queries in the Shodan search engine. Shodan is a search engine for hackers. It's like Google, but unlike Google, it doesn't index websites. It indexes devices connected to the internet. That means anything that's online and has an open port or service can show up here. Security cameras, printers, web servers, industrial control systems, routers, even things like smart fridges and home assistants. It constantly scans the internet, collecting information about what devices are running, what software they use, what versions they're on, and whether they require authentication. If something is misconfigured or left open, Shodan can find it, and so can anyone else who knows how to search. It's like running an Nmap scan on a specific IP. It gives us complete details about the open ports and services running. It also saves banner information, basically a snapshot of what the device is, where it is, and how it's configured. All right, so let's start with something very obvious. Security cameras. There are multiple ways we can search for exposed security cameras. We can directly search for them, or we can search for the specific ports they use, like port 554. I searched for Webcam XP, and here you can see the results. Live camera feeds from different places. These include people's homes, public areas, and other locations. Imagine your webcam being exposed live on the internet. Anyone could see what you're doing, whether you're home or not, and then they could potentially sneak into your home. There are around 140 results just by using this Webcam XP query. People can even use filters to get more accurate results, for example, finding live camera feeds near their location. Next, we have printers. Thousands of them are exposed to the internet. You can search with a simple query like HP printer, and it will show all the printers currently online. Attackers can find them and control them remotely, meaning anyone could send files to them, spam memes, fake orders, or even threatening messages. And the owner wouldn't even know who sent them. You can also find industrial control systems through this search engine, Things like water treatment plants, factory machines, or even parts of power grids. In 2015, hackers took over Ukraine's power grid, leaving hundreds of thousands without electricity. Exposed control systems make that kind of attack possible. Hackers can even find exposed databases. As mentioned earlier, attackers can use port filters to search for systems with specific ports open. For example, port 3306, where MySQL runs. This can reveal databases often filled with customer names, emails, and passwords. Many of these databases aren't even password protected. One of the most interesting things you can do with Shodan is find IoT devices. And it's not just big systems. We're talking about smart fridges, voice assistants, baby monitors, even fish tank thermometers in casinos. In fact, a casino once got hacked because of a fish tank sensor that was connected to the internet. You can use different search filters right from the Shodan homepage. Feel free to check them out yourself. I'll also be linking a blog post in the description that lists multiple queries you can try to find different things, so make sure to check it out. By the way, if you found this video useful, hit the subscribe button and give it a like. I'll be back with the next video soon.